Hi guys, welcome back. It's been like forever balls. I don't know, maybe. I hope you've missed me. I feel like I've been so busy. Been like kind of MIA. It's been like crazy. I feel like I tell you guys this with every video. Like with every video I start like, hey, it's been kind of crazy. Sorry. But it has like, I don't know. You don't want to hear my sob story, but I just feel like I have to apologize to you every video. So that's what I'm doing, apologizing. Now let's get into the good stuff. So I don't have too, 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 too much, but I do have some things that I've really been liking and I feel like I'm missing something that I didn't bring out. Yes, let me go get it. First thing I'm actually going to start with is a Candle. Um, this is the Febreze Home Collections candle, and I believe this was $7.99 from Walmart. So here's the thing about this candle. So I am like a huge Febreze lover. I love their candles, and I usually always get the candles that are in like the air freshener aisle, you know, like the other Febreze and Glade candles. But these candles, the home collection, is in like the actual candle aisle. So I have like one burning up there. It's like an orchid one and it's the wooden stick so it kind of crackles like a fireplace which I think is kind of cool. But I love this one because it has the two wicks and the more wicks the more scent. But the thing about Febreze candles is they're like all strong. So even the little jar ones that I said I usually buy, those are strong. Those are like one of my favorite candles and I love candles. I love like having candles lit on the weekend, having candles lit at night time, drinking my tea, and then going to bed. And there has been several times where I go to bed and the candle's still burning. Okay, so the next thing is not in its original packaging. I threw the package away and then later I was like, oh, I should have kept that so they could see, you know, what it actually looks like. But it's the Dr. Scholl's, um, for her, Ball of Foot. They look like this and they're pretty thin. So if you know the Dr. Scholl's for her line, you know that they have the inserts that go throughout your whole shoe. Um, that's supposed to make your shoes, your open toe sandals, your heels comfortable. I have a pair of those, however, I think this was before they changed it, so they're a little thicker. So they, I can't really wear them in like all my shoes because I like platform heels a lot rather than the thinner ones and it makes my toe like bulge and it's just too thick and uncomfortable that I don't even think about those. So I went ahead and picked them up. These were $9.99 and you, they're reusable. So you just peel off the, um, the plastic, stick it in your shoe and you're good to go. It provides um, a lot of cushion for the pushing or the walking, whatever is your choice. Okay, so I guess while we're talking about things to wear to be comfortable, I got these. And you're probably like, why are these your favorite, Des? Like, they're black underwear. They're not just any black underwear. They're black workout underwear. Yes, I said workout underwear. So you know like guys have their um, compression shorts and I didn't even know they made them for women until I saw them so I'm like, what are they compressing? Two pair of these for like $14. But I bought them because when I go work out in the morning, I'm typically just like wearing a regular like pair of underwear. And like by the time you get done working out, you just feel extremely, extremely icky. And I think that by these, the material, they're stretchable, they're breathable, you can breathe down there. Okay? You don't want it all cloudy and foggy. You know, you want a nice breeze. Okay, so the next thing, since we're talking about clothing, are these. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These. And these, the little clips. So, I'm pretty sure you might know what these are. These are... They, they're called different names. Um, some call them self-grip hangers. Some call them soft-grip hangers. Um, or velvet hangers. I kind of call them velvet hangers. Then I really realized, like a few weeks ago, that I have a lot of plastic hangers. And I'm starting to hate them. And I have a lot of clothes in my closet. And it's not that big of a closet. However, I would like to save some space or try to like move and reorganize. So I figured, okay. I'm going to get rid of all these plastic hangers, especially because they were like all different colors 
and I decided to go with black. And I was in, where was I at? Oh, I was in Ross one day, and they had a 10 pack of these for $4.99. I'm like, okay, let me try them. I tried them on like some dresses, and I was like, oh my gosh, I freaking love these. I need to go like back to the store and get some more. I mean, they're, they're so thin. Look how thin they are. The hanger, this part is thin, the hook. And when you have a whole bunch of clothes, like you, usually with plastic hangers, your clothes will be like out to here. And then with these hangers being so thin, you can like smash your clothes and they're like here. So I have more space. I go to Target and you can only get like a 10 pack for $9.99. I'm like, I just got a 10 pack from Ross for $4.99. So I'm like, okay, well let me see if they're like any different. So I go home, I get the hangers from Target, and I tried them, and I also picked up the clips, and I'm like, okay, they're there. So if you want these hangers and you want to save money, I'd say go to a discount store. I don't even know what you call those types of stores, like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, but check there first, and Walmart. Um, the only thing is I had to get the clips um, from I always seem to like hit myself or drop something. I don't know. One thing that I will say is I don't have any twofers apparently today. You have to get the clips from Target. The clips come in a set of, it was a box of six. So basically enough for three hangers. And they were $2.99 a box. And so I have three favorite lip products. I literally picked all three of these up because they were things I've heard about. Okay, so the first one's by CoverGirl. And it is the Smoochies. I thought that was a cute name. And it's the color, I think this is Love Me. Yeah, this is the color hashtag love, love You. What I love about the Smoochies is they have a, an array of colors. So there's a whole line of colors. I like things kind of on the lighter, corally side. So I really love the color. It's almost like a very light uh, fuchsia color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's skin smoothing. So it's a color, but it's also like a lip balm. So this is like the perfect thing to keep in your purse if you're one who's like, oh, I need lip balm, but I still also want to put on lip gloss. Like this is the perfect go-to because it keeps your lips soft. And I, one thing I hate about like lipsticks and, and things is that you have to put on lip balm and then put on something else. And um, sometimes if you just put on lipstick, it tends to get like flaky. But this keeps your lips smooth. Okay, so the next one is the Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede in the color It Girl. This is considered like a lipstick, but it's way different than a lipstick because it's actually similar to the Smoochies because it's a, a lip smoother. And then the last one, I actually kept hearing about this color, I believe from Ingrid, Miss Lamarazzi, she I think mentioned this color before. And I, I owned a Revlon Super Lustrous lip gloss, but I have not owned this color. And this is the color, I think it's Pink Pop, and that's the reason I bought it, yeah. Pink Pop, she's mentioned this color. It's very, for me, I have sort of tinted lips, I guess you can say. So if you have more of a fair tone lip, this color will really make your lips pop. But for me, it just comes on as a nice pink. Um, I don't think it's as powerful as it could be. But I love it. I think it looks really nice when you put this on and then maybe even like a little bit of a gloss over it and then it'll kind of really come. Okay, so the next favorite is actually like an old favorite and it's the Calgon Mineral Soak and Scrub. I tried this last winter and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the price. I fell in love with the way it made my skin feel. I fell in love with the scent. I fell in love with the abrasiveness of the scrub <laughs> so you can get this at target but apparently you can't get this at every target anymore which is why i had stopped using it and i had mentioned that i had bought that what's the other scrub i talked to you guys about the body college one the brown like sugar whatever it is and i still liked it and then i saw this i was like oh that's what i said for real just like that oh so I got it and I used it and I recently just picked up another one. So this is about five or six dollars for this entire tub. Okay, the last thing and I literally have like the whole collection here 
It's the Shea Moisture Line. So I don't use the Shea Moisture Line on a weekly basis when I wash my hair. I only use this line for two reasons. One, when I, hair, when I wear my hair natural, which means I just wash it, put in the products I'm getting ready to show you, diffuse it with the blow dryer, and then that's it. And I use it in um, my boys' mohawk because they rock mohawks and you have to keep it moisturized and curly. So I like using these. So I'm going to go through each product. I think six or seven parts of this particular line. There's two. This one is the um, Curl and Shine line, the one with the peach label. Okay, so this is the shampoo. The only reason I use this shampoo when I wear my hair natural is like I think it's just going to retain more moisture than my other shampoo and and be able to bring out my natural curl. I have naturally curly slash wavy hair. Um, eventually you guys will see my hair natural. I said I was going to film a video last week when I wore my hair natural, but I didn't get around to, it, to doing it. So I really like to use this one. And then I follow up with the Curl and Shine Conditioner. However, I don't rinse this out. I use it as a leave-in because I recently learned that leave-in conditioners bring out your curl pattern, which I didn't know. So these two things work great together. And each of these were, I believe, $9.99. Then I follow up with the Curl and Style Milk. So the Curl and Style Milk, after I've towel dried my hair, this goes in first. And then the Curl Enhancing Smoothie goes in next. At first, a long, long time ago, when I was told about this line, I was just using this. And I liked it, but I wasn't wowed. Now that I know that the milk and the smoothie go pretty much together, and like hand in hand, I like, like it now. This sort of makes your curls soft and manageable this like curl enhancing smooth like it literally enhances your curls i'll put this in jojo's hair jordan my little one i'll put this in his hair i'm like okay his hair's soft and then i'll follow up with this and all of a sudden all his little curls start popping out and it's like amaze balls yeah i said amaze balls but the curling gel souffle so it's almost it looks like it's water based when you open it up so I literally will take one finger, stir it around, and use everything that's on my finger after stirring it, wipe it on my hand, rub my palms together, and rub it through my hair. Basically, this just sort of sets everything that you just did with the milk and the smoothie. Um, your hair is not crispy, but it's a little more firm. Um, your hair is still bouncy, it's still light, it's frizz-free. That's what all this thing's supposed to prevent is the frizz. It still has shine. It's just... Um, is, I can't really explain it. I mean, just imagine a gel, but not hard. You know, like my curls are still soft, but this just kind of seals everything. So that's all the favorites that I have for the month of September that went by super duper fast. I've been getting requests to do How I Stay Fit. Uh, I promised you guys I would do a video on how I save and, and score some deals on clothes and things for the house. So I have not forgotten about that. I am working on that next. So I will talk to you lovely flowers later. Bye.